My name is Mark Grimes, I'm a student at GMIT, and this is a video I made. Hello, today I'm going to show the pivot function on, or the pivot tool, in a universal app for Windows 10. The great thing about universal apps is that it's easier to make one, make an app that works on tablet, phone, PC, whatever you, whatever you want. So we've created a blank app, blank Windows Universal app. So we'll get started. So you can go into the toolbox. If you go down, you'll see pivot. Pretty simple. Put it onto that thing there. So now we've got a pivot set up. There's not much in it though. So this is the title. Right now it's called pivot. So we'll change this to animals and we'll make, we'll make a small pivot app that is just a basic information app that has information on three little animals just to show a basic use case for a pivot app and pivot apps are good because they they look nice they look clean they allow you to have what looks like multiple pages in an app so the user can just slide across and get to where he needs to go or she so we have an animals so we'll call the first animal cat and the second one dog and we might add more later on we'll see we'll see for now so we've got a grid here so we're going to put everything in the grid so we're going to go grid x name gd cat gd cat all right and we got a grid so now we're going to add two row definitions and we're going to have a picture on the top row we'll have text on the bottom row and it will just be a basic information app it's not going to be super fancy but it will show off what you know basic use case for a pivot app so we'll go grid dot row definitions yeah there we go and we'll go to, there we go so we'll go row definition and we'll go row definition Okay, so we've got two lovely rows, and they don't do much, but they're okay. They're okay. We can specify, we can be a little more things. We could say height is equal to 300 for the first one. Why not? Okay, so it's the first row, this is the second row. Great. Now, we need to add some pictures. So what I've done is I've imported, I've put, I've created a new folder and I've put in some pictures, but I do need to add these pictures. So we'll say add existing items. And here in images, I've got some lovely pictures here of cats and dogs and a monkey that looks kind of confused, something. But we'll go with it anyway, because that's what I had on my PC for some reason. Okay. All right. So we've added these. So we can use these now. Isn't that great? All right. So we'll create an image and we'll put him in the top row. And then we'll create a text box and we'll put that in the bottom row. And we'll do that for a dog as well. And we might do it for a monkey, uh, depending on how we are for time. So we've got our row definitions. So we're gonna, we want to put it outside the row definition. So we'll go image and then we'll go source. And in the source, then we go images forward slash cat1.jpg. Why not? And we can go height. We can say 150. We can say width 150. Now, if you've not got properly proportioned images, this will crunch things up a little, but it doesn't really matter in this case. It we're not looking for greatness, we're just looking for goodness. So we'll say that. So that's that. Um, oh, look. Look at him there. He's got very intense eyes. That's probably not really relevant. We can, you know, we can, we can be a little more things. So we could say, we'll just leave him there for now though. So we could also go X name, add a name, say image one. So we'll go on anyway. So text block. Oh. We should actually probably say row, grid.row, and we'll say zero. And what that, and it'll default to zero anyway, but we'll 
leave it at zero for now because we're going to need to explicitly say that the text block is going to the first. So that's going to go into the zero, which is the first row, because first row is zero. So text block, text block, x name. Uh, TB cat. Why not? And we'll say text wrap. And we'll say wrap whole words because that looks better than wrapping half words, doesn't it? And we can say font size and we can say uh, 30. Why not? And so how you actually put content into a text block you can do in various different ways you can add it at runtime you can use an external resource file but since that isn't really the purpose of this tutorial we'll just do it here so we'll just say text is equal to this is a cat he goes meow isn't he great now Right now, it's kind of just there. We don't want it there. We need to explicitly say that we want it in the second row. So we'll go grid dot row, and we'll say one. And there, he's in the second. He's in the second. So second row. So now we. That's a basic setup. We can even go. So what we can do from here is we can just do good old our good old friend copy and paste. So we had dog there, but we'll just we'll get rid of dog for now. So we got a pivot item and we've got two cats now. We don't want two cats. And we don't want two things of the same name either. So let's say grid dog dog row three hundred image dog one dog one and I'll say TB dog and what will we put in here we'll say woof woof this is what a dog says but not a human why not alright there we go it's not very fancy but that's the basics of a pivot app, so we'll launch it just to see how it works. Okay, here we go. It was worth the wait, I'm sure. Because this is an amazing pivot app. So, our app is launched. Animals, cat, dog. So, this is a cat. He goes meow. Isn't he great? Yes, yes he is. So then we move along to dog. Woof woof, this is what dog says, but not a human. So, you could keep adding to that, and this is the most basic example of what you can do with it. You can, you could put in, a, you could put in a game, you could put in multiple games, you could have X's and O's here, you could have solitaire, whatever, that's all separate thing, but th this is just the basic use case for, for the pivot function, or the pivot tool. Um, it looks nice and clean. And it allows you to stop yourself from cluttering your screen. So I'll leave it at that for today. Hopefully this helped you decide whether you want to use a pivot app or not. But uh, that's what the pivot app, pivot tool does. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.